Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to use cell arrays in uh, MATLAB. Ok, so let's get started. To create a cell array we can use a function cell. Ok, so I define some variable and uh, create a cell array. And now I need to provide two arguments uh, to give the shape of this of this array and for example it will be one row and three columns okay so this is what we have there are three cells and initially the cells are empty okay what is really nice in the case of cell arrays is that the type of data which you can uh, which you can keep in, in them is not restricted that means that I can keep the different types of data in single cell array. Okay, it is really good because sometimes I can, I need to group a few types of data to describe uh, one thing, and this I can use to to keep all of those data in one container. So this is really nice. Later in a different. Uh, videos I will show you much more advanced uh, ideas of uh, how to do such a thing and uh, I mean uh, we will see how to use the objective oriented programming in MATLAB but it later for now just use this cell array okay so I would like to put three different data into this array okay so I refer to those fields using these braids and the uh, now, okay, I would like to put to the first uh, column maybe some uh, double array. So I create such a little double array and it is uh, contained here. Okay, and now I would like to refer to the second, uh, second cell and for example to put there a string. Okay, string is a type of data which contains uh, characters, just like some some word or something like this. Okay, and uh, to the third uh, to the third cell, I will uh, write a structure. What the structure are? Uh, there will be a separate video how to work with the structures and. Uh, how to create them also in a dynamical way, but now just create a very simple structure. Okay, the structures in MATLAB are very similar to the structures of C or CPP language. So they have fields and we refer to the fields by their name and on the fields they can store a different types of data. Quite similar like in a cell array. Okay, but the difference is that we refer to the field of the structure by its name and we refer to the field to the cell of the cell array by its index which is important okay so field okay and what will be on this field for example 12 okay and I can also uh, define another field just for clarity okay and some other number nice so we have our uh, cell array which contains three different types of data okay and now I will show you how to access those data in this uh, array in this cell array okay and for example I would like to perform the mathematical operation which um, is to add uh, the number from the first field of this structure to the first element of this vector here. Okay, so I need to access this and this and make some conversion. What I mean by conversion, just show you. Okay, so when I refer to the tab to the first cell in like this using these brackets what I have is the cell itself I mean that my answer is the type cell 
So I cannot perform any mathematical operation. So and I don't have the access for the particular elements of this vector. Instead, if I if I want to have access to those elements, I need to do it in like this. Okay. And now my answer is to is a type double. Okay. And I have a possibility to to perform some mathematical operations with this answer. Okay. So now let's get access the number 12, which as you remember is in the structure here in the first field. Okay. So I refer to the third field of my cell array, which is this structure in here. Okay. And I use this brace. Okay. So what will be uh, what will be the result of such operation? It will be a structure. And because it will be a structure, then I work like in case of a structure, it means I use a dot. Okay. And I give the name of the field, which is field. Okay. So I have 12. And the number is also uh, a double. So I can perform mathematical operations. Okay. And so uh, to show you another thing, I just uh, I just refer again to this. So this is 12. It will be considered as a 12. And now plus, and I can refer to this uh, vector. But there will be some a uh, little tricky restriction. Okay. Tap. Okay, so I can refer to all vector. But now the number 12 was added to each of element of this vector. But if I would like to refer next to the first element of this vector, okay. What I need to do is just add here this uh, this uh, index but using the brackets the common brackets okay so I have uh, I refer to the vector and then I refer to the first element of this vector which is 1 and then uh, here is the number 12 and those were added so I was able to make uh, mathematical operations because both this and this was type double, not the cell anymore. And this operation is called the conversion in case of programming languages terminology. Okay, so that's all about basic information about how to access the elements in uh, the cell arise. About the structure, there will be a separate video. Uh, if you are interested, please watch. Okay, and now I will create a little uh, script because uh, I would like to show you another uh, really nice functionality of cell arrays. And it is uh, that uh, we can actually make an array with a functions, a very simple functions we can define as an inline function. I will show you just a second. And then we can collect them in the array, which is very useful because we can then refer to those functions by the index and uh, use it in that way. In the case of CPP language, there will be uh, uh, such a functionality is called the table of pointers. Okay, but start with MATLAB. Okay, and now I define those simple functions. So I define the name, that's F, I using add, okay. And then I define the name of the input of this function. Okay, let's say u. And this input, this name for the input, is valid only in here, in this line where I define my functions. Okay, so let's say 2 times u. Just very simple function which double the value of input. Okay. Uh, so let's create another 2. 
for example, five times u and okay. Those functions are intentionally such simple uh, that we can easily observe the working of a program and the idea behind it. Okay. Normally those functions are of course uh, much more complicated uh, in practice because we do not need such a functionality uh, used in that way. Okay. So let's uh, so let's look how it works. When I define some variable x, for example, and I define it as a 10, and then I would like to uh, call the function f for x, and let's see what we will have. Okay, so we have 20, because it is 2 times 10. Nice. Okay, now uh, let's create our array and collect those functions in the array. So I create a tab, okay, and now I do not call the cell anymore, I just use those brace instead. This is just the shorter way. And I collect my functions, just like this, okay. So let's see how it looks. We have our cell array, and in each of the cell we have our function. Okay, so uh, how we can use it? We can refer to it by the index. What I mean is, I create some variable, okay, and then I refer to a tab. I use this uh, brace to make a conversion and the index, okay. And then I can use this fun to my x to call the function. Okay. And as you can see, we still have 20. If I use, for example, the second function, I will obtain 50. Okay. Why it is important? Because we can use it now in a loop, which can be very useful. Okay. So for k equal 1 to max size of top and okay so this loop will be uh, for each element of the top okay and now I can uh, I need to create a variable I need to take one of those and assign to this variable so to do it, I refer to a tab, use those brace, use the index k, okay, and then I can refer, I can call my function for my argument, okay. And so we have those results in accordance with our expectations, 12, 50, and 100. Okay, so that's all for now. Uh, to summarize, we now know how to use cell arrays, how to define a simple inline functions. The inline is actually uh, the name from C++, but it's a really adequate name because those functions should be uh, such uh, small to just uh, define it in a single line. Okay. And we can uh, now also use our cell arrays to group those functions and we know how to refer to them and how to use them uh, by referring uh, to them uh, with index, which can be useful. Okay, so uh, in next video I will show you how to work with uh, structures, so how to define them, how to access elements, those basic informations, and also how to dynamically uh, create structures during working of our program, which is quite uh, important to to do because in practice we mo almost uh, always uh, al almost always uh, define structures dynamically so uh, see you in the next video and if you find it interesting or useful subscribe my channel and please give the thumbs up thank you bye